back here again. I figured this would be the best place to come back to. Put some more planks on the windows. Sounds like there's a storm coming outside. Just been uh, going through my notes and having a look, but I thought this would be the best place to come back to. It's pretty much, you know, it's four walls. Put some locks on the doors again. Put a little makeshift bed down, so. So we should be safe here, and I still, luckily, uh, this was still intact. So, uh, yeah, I thought we'd come back here. It's quite a decent place. Also, looking at the map, it's, uh, it's very close to a water source as well, which is very important. Um, and it's quite close to the other towns. I haven't really ventured far into the um, west yet. That's next on the agenda is to stock up on a few supplies and then see if we can head out into the westlands to this forbidden west to see what's there. But on my last uh, travels when I was in the uh, the police station up in the up in the snow cat mountains where we were uh, where I found those where we took shelter for a couple of days, a couple of days refuge up there uh, we did find this document let me just get it out of my uh, Let's get it out of my backpack. Yeah, so. Body Control Unit, ECU, ECU-2. You can see that some of the information has been redacted there. The Sergeant F. Wood, no idea. The date is 1980, so it's um, quite old. <laughs> and this is from a Dr. H. Rowe. Again, no idea. Body control unit. For the purpose of the show, convicts have bio control units or body control units, BCU2, implanted in them, which connects directly to their spinal. So this is the thing that's on the back of my head. BCU2s are the very first mass-produced bioengineering AI units capable of controlling any kind of living organism. The BCU-1 was originally used for medical purposes only. Keep the brain-damaged patients alive by inducing a coma, simulating their life functions until the patient gets better. However, an upgraded version of the unit was then produced for industrial and military purposes, obviously. This upgraded version, the so-called BCU-2, is the radio-controlled unit with more options and and it could replace all the subject's brain functions. So basically, someone can control me in every single move I make. What this means that there were what this means is that once the real brain dies. The company could easily take over the subject's body and control it by simple programming code injected into the BCTU's unit. Subjects are known as puppets, biters, walkers, pawns, roamers, or runners. So I'm guessing then that the things that we see outside are puppets. I guess that's what we have to, that's what they're officially called, is puppets. Uh, it, it's been quite quiet here for the last couple of days. Let me just put that away. But at least, at least we've got a few answers, at least I've got a few answers now as to what these things are. So those are puppets and that thing in the back of my head is being controlled by the company. Uh, I'm guessing the company is that Tech One company that we saw, that I saw, back up in the snow area where the where the, the disco music was. And I think, if I remember, when I was um, 
camping out the uh, that place where those big robot machines were. I think they had Tech 1 as well on their arm. So I'm guessing this is all controlled by Tech 1. Tech 1 is behind everything here. But at least now I kept referring to those things as things. But at least now I guess they are actually called puppets. Uh, very sitting name, seeing as they're being controlled by somebody. The question is, is were they convicts that have died here and have been brought back? Were they, you know, are they, were they people who have been killed purely for the show? Who knows? Um, all I know is that uh, it's, it's a step closer to getting some answers. Uh, I think I better put some of these on as the sun is beginning to set. I think we better... Uh, I don't think we're going to be venturing out tonight as it's getting too dark now. But I will... Uh, I think I'm going to hit the hit the sack and uh, pick it up again in the morning uh, I don't want to go out at night time at all so yeah I'm gonna it's, it's probably about half seven or something like that the sun's getting real low now there's nothing can't see anything on the horizon. Nope. Still haven't found any binoculars, which is really annoying. But I think in the morning, what I did do is I I put this together. Uh, oh, that needs more fuel already. So I wouldn't mind going to give this a try tomorrow. Uh, put myself a, a just a you know stick with some wire some of the stuff I found so we'll see what it does I'm gonna hit the sack now and uh, try and get up first thing let's just have a look yeah I think we're just gonna head over to this lake it's not too far away I'll head over to the lake and uh, see if we can get some fish a good source of nutrients and proteins and things All right, I'm gonna hit the sack for now I'll uh, <sighs> right. Sun is up. A little look. Not too bad. There was a horrible storm last night, by God. Didn't get much sleep at all. I also, uh... Heard some really weird noises last night. Some things I've not heard before giving me the creeps but I think uh, it's time let's just see if we can get some some breakfast here let's have some olives for breakfast and a walnut something in my belly let's um, let's see about this fishing shall we so uh, you need the backpack armor on just to get all the vest. Um, where did I put all the fishing gear? There we go. Packet floaters, packet of books. The one thing I don't have hmm, is bait. I'm gonna. Oh, there we go. Get a few of these then. Don't know if fish like wolf meat, but. We'll take that with us just in case we need to make some more. I got the fishing hooks. Packs bait. I can fill up my water bottles as well while well, last time there as well. Yep, yeah, we should be okay. 
head out then. Let's go and see. Let's just uh, throw this in the car. Alright. Well, I need to uh, check what's happening. The engine's getting a bit smoky. I think it might have an oil leak or something somewhere. Oil dripping on the hot components. I'll do that another day. Right, so let's see if we can go and catch some fish. Not that I'm an experienced fisherman. Oh god, look. Puppets now, as we know what they're called. Are chasing me. Uh, Should just chuck a left here. It's, this is why I chose to come back to this hut. No. Yes, it's much quicker with the car to get to the water source, but at least there's a small stream running round the back of the hut. Just have to go through the forest, and then there's a little stream. So, uh, at least we can get some water and have a wash and stuff like that. Right, this is the bridge. Um, maybe we can go down here. Uh, maybe we should go the other way. It's a bit... Uh, bit rocky and I don't want to get stuck. Here you go, look, this, this should do. This should do. I don't see anything in the fields. There we go. Just have a quick look around. What I always like to do is just... This would be good to have my binoculars back. That's... That's a... Uh, I don't have my binoculars. That looks like a structure. Well, I think... That... Okay, that has definitely been built. I mean, it knocked together. I think we might need to come and check that out. But not now. Interesting. Very interesting. Right, let's uh, get the fishing rod out. And a little bit of bait. Right, let's see. Let's see how we fare here. I'm not the best fisherman, I have to say. It would be nice to catch something. I think this is maybe the fourth or fifth time I've been fishing in my entire life. Okay, so quite a strong current here. 
Don't want to get the line tangled in the, in the reeds. End up snapping it. I threw it quite so far. No, it's got caught on something. It's stuck here. There we go. Got it free. Just keep, keep checking around. It's a. Uh, see if we can go a bit further in. I mean, I could stand down here, I guess. There we go. Right, let's uh, let's go this way. Right, but there's there's definitely fish here. Hopefully, the current will take it into the fish's path. Come on, take a bite. You know you want to. Oh, it's got my float. We may have something. I broke off. Little bastard. I did have one though. Okay. Well, I guess I'm learning as I go. Come on, reel it in. Let me. A long reel on it. didn't want to get wet. I think it's got stuck again. Yeah, there we go. Got stuck on those reeds there. No, I don't want to. Come here. Didn't put any bait on it. Now I'm sopping wet again. keep getting it in and then it keeps dropping off again. I mean, I did just put this together, you know. It's not a proper fishing rod. It's just some string and some clips, basically. Good job it's shallow here. Come on, because this water's bloody cold. beginning to get cold now. No, stop. Oh, there is some bait on it still. Um, I can't actually see any fish though. That's the problem. Fill up my canteen while I'm here. I'm already sopping wet anyway. It's a bit annoying. Right. Let's try a bit further that way. Now I'll just let the current take it. The minute we see the float dip. May... Oh. 
Again, I didn't catch anything there. Well, I did say I wasn't an experienced fisherman. I mean, they are nibbling. They're definitely nibbling. Oh. Yes, I got one! What did we get? Look at that little fella! Bleak. Ah, oh, I got one! It's actually quite rewarding. Just checking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, look, there's some more. I'll see if I can get one more. There's some more, uh... Where did it go? Maybe the current is too strong here. Oh, I'm really chuffed that I got one. Ah, he got away. I saw him just at the last minute there. scare them. Okay, let's try one more. See if we can get one. I think maybe the current is a bit too strong here. Oh, we got one. What do we got? Another little fella. Keep. Ah, nice. Oh, get back up here. Got two little fishies. Where did they go? Oh, there they are. Cool. Uh, we can put those on the fire. Seeing as I've got a bit of bait, why not? Let's try again. Let's see, there's little things here, look. All these little ripples in the water. Be nice to try and get something a bit bigger. Come on, take it. I can see him. It's just that he's following it, but he's not necessarily... No. Oh, look, that might be a big fish over there. Look, let's try that one. Come on, take the bait. You know you want it. Got one. Ah, the line broke. Bugger. Yeah, that's what happens. And I don't have any spare line. Crap. Well, we got two little fishes that we can put on the on the fire. Two little bleaks. Uh, I'm just wondering if it's worth. Maybe it is worth just going over there, just to have a look. Oh, I have to remember about the fishing. That was in in the in the times. It was actually quite pleasant. I have to say, I'm very wet. Just get rid of you. I want to be careful because I have no idea what this is, friendly or foe, so um, no real way in, I have to cut through the woods here. I'm a 
bit dubious. There it is. Hmm. Well, it looks like someone certainly put some fortifications on this. Let's just take this slow. I'd rather stay in the car for now. It's quite a big structure. Don't see it or hear anyone. There's no signposts. Hmm. Maybe it's just abandoned. I'm not quite sure. Oh, hello. quite know what to make of this. I mean, that must have been put together by a couple of people. Let's just get rid of this thing that's chasing me here. risk getting out. Hmm. No. I think what I'm going to do is I might come down here every day and see if anything changes. See if something new has been added or something like that and then that way I'll know if there are people inside, I, I'm I'm still I still haven't met anybody, but that is the second complex, if you like, that I've seen on this island so far. We had that southern trading facility that was. Uh, that we saw, oh, oh, it must have been four weeks, five weeks ago now. And, you know, even when I scaled the tower, I didn't even see anybody or anything. So, um, it could just be an empty derelict building that someone did use, a convict, or it could actually be people living there, but I, I want to be cautious about it. I don't, I don't want to go running in as, you know, other people in this situation may just shoot on sight. So I want to be a little bit dubious. I need to find myself some more fishing line now, though. Just make sure nothing has come down. Uh, quite often when I go out scavenging, these things come down through the forest. But I can't see any right now, so... It's always good. As long as there are none here. Of the puppets or the biters. And I don't really care. Let's just get back in here. Yeah. Should do. I need to have a look at this oil leak. See what's causing this smoke here. Let's just grab it out of the car. 
Now I need to get fire. I need to get these clothes dried. Um, actually, there is a there's a little stockpile of wood over here that I have been nicking from. Here's quite a couple of. There you go. See, just grab a couple of them. Eventually, that will deplete, but it saves me chopping down a tree. And the good thing is, it's dry, so it burns. Did you uh, get the fire going, get these clothes dry? Because uh, I can't be, I can't be standing in wet clothes. I'm just going to get an awful cold if I do that. And I've already had two of those since I've been on this godforsaken island. So, right, uh, let's just go and dump this stuff. I mean, most of this stuff. My bag didn't get wet, thankfully. But my trousers and my boots and my socks certainly got wet. Uh, and the fish. Fish we can put on the fire and eat those. And my top got wet as well. Let's just, uh, that over by the fire. Uh, don't need the backpack. That's still dry. That's okay. Alright, let's go and get rid of these things. Get them dry. Because it's uh, in my pants. I need to take those off. Hopefully these will cook if they're close enough to the fire. Just put the log down, ready for the next one. Alright, just let that dry. A bit chilly, but... I don't need the weapon in here, I can put that away. It saves carrying it on my back all the time. Alright, I'm just gonna sit here, let myself dry up. Let my clothes dry up, cook that fish, and then uh, have some lunch. But it's interesting that I found that hut. It's very interesting, and it's actually quite close. It's just the other side of the bridge, though. Right. But yeah, I enjoyed fishing. That was good. It was uh, a bit of a break from the chaos and the puppets and chasing. So, um, yeah, that was, that was okay. That was okay. Oh, take my boots off as well. There we go. That's better. That's better. Just let all this stuff dry out. 